Welcome back. So we finished testing our first flow and all is working well. Now we need to move on to build out the second of Pedro's requirements. And if you'll recall, uh, we'll go to this account here real quick, Edge Communications. I'll click Details. Uh, there is a field called Account Notes. And Pedro uh, would like this field to be um, copied from any account and carried down onto any new opportunity that gets created. So if we have a new opportunity on the Edge Communications account, the account notes at the account level should be brought down to the opportunity. In addition, we'll go back to our uh, list here and I'll just click open the Edge Communications Ops. Any of the opportunity notes, or I guess I should say that uh, the opportunity notes for the account should also be populated on a brand new opportunity. And so that's the flow we're gonna build right now. Um, so I closed it out, but I will go back to the flow builder. Click flows, and we are gonna make a new flow to do this. So I'm gonna click new flow. And if you had to guess what type of flow this would be, what do you think? So I hope you were thinking it's a record triggered flow, and that's exactly right. We are going to uh, fire this flow whenever a new opportunity is created. And so that was kind of the, uh, the thought process or the giveaway there, is that when we uh, create an opportunity, we're launching a record and that's gonna launch the record triggered flow. So we'll pick that. And I guess to configure our start element, all we have to do is just pick the opportunity object. And as I mentioned previously, we only really need to run this when a record is created. You know, Pedro just said that uh, he wants new opportunities to have those notes. So there's nothing really there um, for us to do when it's uh, updated or deleted. And then for the entry conditions, it didn't sound like Pedro had any from the uh, requirements. You know, it's just for all new opportunities. So we don't even have to set an entry uh, condition here. We can just leave it as is. So I'll press done and I'll press save. And we'll just call this uh, opportunity dash populate notes fields or maybe note fields. I suppose it doesn't matter, but I'll just call it note fields and press save. And so um, the first field uh, is relatively easy in the sense that it's just the account field. And then um, the second field is a little bit um, more interesting to think about in that it's uh, one of the related opportunities. So when we're thinking about how to populate these, um, really in the flow, the sequence, I guess, isn't super important because the flow has to do both. And I don't see a clear reason why we, we would prefer to do one, uh, update one of the fields first over the other one. So I'll just start with the opportunity notes field because uh, my thought process is we will need to query for another opportunity. There's no easy way for us to know um, what the notes are on another opportunity without using a get records. So we'll start there and I will just click add element and I will use a get records and I'll just call this get uh, any related opportunity. And we're going to get records of the opportunity object. And what we're trying to do here is find another opportunity related to the same account and copy the notes field. And then once we've copied it, you know, just use that to update the current opportunities notes. So those conditions, uh, one will be that the account ID equals, and it will be the global variable. So record account ID of the current opportunity. I don't think we need to specify if the uh, notes are populated or not, because if they're not populated, then we'll just carry over a blank value to, to our opportunity and that will be fine. And if they are populated, then we'll just bring over the notes. So either way, it's fine if we don't specify that. And I think that's really the only condition we need. You know, again, Pedro didn't specify any other conditions. So if he had, we could add those here, but for now this should be fine. And an interesting question comes up when it's how many records should we store? And in this case, I think we only need one. You know, if we think about that list view um, that had all the opportunity notes, uh, the way we have things configured right now is that notes field is going to be the same for every single opportunity. So with that in mind, there's going to be no difference in the notes across the opportunities. So we can really just pick any one of them and the notes field will be populated. So I'm going to leave this uh, toggled to only the first record and I'm going to press done. And I think what we can do now is just uh, use an assignment element here. 
an assignment. And we'll just use this to update the current opportunity. And so we'll start out by setting uh, the notes. So I just, I'm using the global variable here for the opportunity notes for the current record. So by scrolling down here, just finding the opportunity notes field. So we're gonna use the assignment to update the current records opportunity notes. And we will set that equal to whatever we found in the get um, records for any, finding any related opportunity. So I will uh, select that record single variable. And again, I'll just scroll down to the opportunity notes. And we'll click that. And then the second field we need to set is just the account notes. And so this is interesting. I don't think we've probably done this yet. Um, but the same way that we set the opportunity notes, we can define the um, account notes field here. So I'll do that by selecting the global variable for the opportunity and uh, just picking the account notes field. So we're going to set that account notes field. And then what we can do here, we can, we can leverage the existing Salesforce relationship between an opportunity and an account. So the account is the parent and the opportunity is the child. We can use that relationship in the Salesforce flow um, by using that global variables, uh, global variable record that it represents the current opportunity. And so what we can do is click open the record and then we can use one of these uh, relationships here at the top. So whenever there's a little arrow next to a field, that indicates that it's a relationship field, and we can actually jump up or jump to another object in order to pull information from that object into our flow and use it to set field values. So in this case, we don't actually need to do a query or anything like that to get um, the account notes from the account because this relationship already exists and we can leverage that. So I'm gonna click open this account um, ID field with the little arrow next to it. And then this opens up every single account field um, that's available on the account related to the opportunity. And you'll see again that if I wanted to, I could even keep jumping relationships and go look at maybe the created by ID. And you know, I could find the, the I could find the email of the person that created the account if I wanted. Um, that's not really useful here, but I'm just giving an example of being able to jump relationships. The field that we are looking for on the account is that account notes field. And so we'll click that. And if you'll, if you'll notice here that the merge syntax, it looks different from what we've seen so far. And what we're doing here is you can see that we're using the global variable for the current opportunity, which is the record. And then we have dot notation to say, okay, now we're jumping to the account. And then we're using dot notation again to say on the account, we're gonna pull the account notes field. And in this way, we can jump several relationships. I think the limit, there's a limit. I can't remember if it's five or 15, um, not hundred percent sure. So there, there might be a limit there, but you can definitely jump, you know, multiple relationships and you could get, you know, uh, grandparent objects or great grandparent objects, or, or even, you know, just uh, objects that are in a lookup relationship to a grandparent object. So this is really powerful and uh, definitely make note of this. At any rate, I will click account notes and I will press done. I'm going to press save. And I think that's all we're going to have to do for this flow. So we'll end here. And in the next video, we'll test everything out.